Okay, now that our instruments have all been sprayed with the spray lubricant and dried, we are going to get it ready to wrap it in the AHA approved CSR wrap and ready for the autoclave. We do this by um, getting our container, our instruments belong in for this. This is our general surgery pack. We place our scissors closed in the bottom of the tray. On ours, we take a spay hook and we go from largest to smallest, um, not closing all the way, not latched, and stack them into our spay hook to keep them ready for our doctors. Once we get all these on our spay hook that we have for our general surgery pack, we will place them in our stainless steel tray here, like such. And then we will place a large drape over it with uh, our indicator strip and our forceps and blade holder. We also uh, place eight gauze in their um, surgery pack. So this is what our general surgery pack would look like before wrapping. And now we will wrap it, double wrap in the CSR wrap and put our indicator tape and get it ready for the autoclave. And we use the indicator tape and a, another tape to help to secure it. And then we go and we label what our pack is. This is our general surgery pack. We place today's date on it. the initials and we'll put sterilized on. That way it can be stamped with the date that it was finished sterilizing on, like this. And then prepping for our autoclave, we take it over here to the autoclaves we have in the clinic. We will come in and make sure there is enough distilled water, which we do have enough in by our indicator here. And then we will place it in the center with nothing around it in the autoclave um, with enough distilled water we will then lift and lock it in we'll come up here to where it says packs hit packs and then we hit uh, start and then our autoclave automatically starts for our sterilization